Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video that I will call my five I don't know what to call it, my five holy grail pieces to start your collection. Just sharing my perspective and also my opinion as to what are my personal five picks. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but anyway, five different sort of um, things that I think are great pieces to start off with. Uh, if you want to build a collection for example, I believe I had a similar video in the past I can't remember if I've already deleted it. I possibly did but um, It's just really old and the quality of the video is very poor like it was just grainy and everything So I decided to do an updated version anyway. So whenever I think of building a collection I always think that um, I always need a bigger bag and I always need a smaller bag um, and I would probably try to keep them more on the casual side to begin with just because I know that I will reach for them all the time and you know more like on a daily basis rather than just sitting there and be used occasionally so if I was building a new collection or starting to build a new collection I would try to pick something that's big and something that's small uh, that I would probably want to reach for on a more regular basis so the first thing that comes to mind in terms of a bigger bag, especially if you're a big bag person, that's why I have two categories, um, I would go with a Neverfull. So this is my Neverfull MM size, and I have it in the monogram canvas with the Vachetta trim, and also I chose mine in the red lining. I find this bag to be such a great size and such a good everyday bag especially if you love good like big bags and it's very comfortable easy to wear especially in the Vachetta trim of course you can go with the Demi Ben and a different print it's really up to your preference but the reason why I personally love this particular print and material is because I do find that this leather is a lot more comfortable. I've sold all my Demi Ben bags eventually and uh, realized that in the end monogram is the way that works for me and yes monogram as in this print altogether usually comes with a Vachetta trim which is raw untreated leather so it will patina and patina means it will darken and it will have the watermarks and this and that but once it reaches that pat nice patina so once you've had this bag for a while and if you are more careful at the beginning and once it reaches like a honey gold patina like this unless it's very dramatic like you pour coke on it or juice or coffee it will stay pretty nice and it will darken pretty evenly. I have a Chanel Deauville as well but I still recommend the Neverfull as a starter piece just because price point wise it's so much better than Chanel prices and also um, it's just such an iconic and easy bag. It's just really really wonderful, really comfortable and I find it user friendly and um, I know not everybody is into bigger bags especially nowadays the trend is smaller bags so it really depends if you're a bigger bag person I didn't buy the Neverfull at first. I It took me years to get it. I bought the Speedy at first and if you guys have been watching my channel, you would know that Speedy is actually not my favorite bag anymore. Um, maybe it never was and I just was just holding on to the classicness of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I realized basically after all that the Neverfull is my ultimate favorite bigger bag even though I don't normally reach for a bigger bag but when I do, I love the Neverfull so if I had to pick a smaller bag that I would reach you know, quite often and also I'm a smaller bag person in general uh, I would also go with Louis Vuitton and I love the backpack, the mini Palm Spring backpack this bag was so surprising and it's still going strong it's still trendy but I don't know, I feel like even if the trend dies, I would still love this bag because I wear it as a handbag. It's not classic, but it's just, it has reached the status where I feel like this bag is not really gonna be out of style or something. I, I feel like this is just still a bag that, whether the style is relevant or not, it's still so comfortable and so easy to grab and go and use on a daily basis. And it's smaller, so it's not gonna be, you know, in the way, it's just easy you just bring your essentials but it still fits a lot i fit a cardigan with all my other stuff in it when i was traveling in europe and i just love the little handle you have different options of wearing the straps it just took me by surprise 
at how often and how much I love grabbing for it and has become sort of like my holy grail smaller bag if that makes sense so not only is it super cute and kind of different I mean everybody has one now but it's still different in itself it, as in it's not like your conventional handbag shape um, so yeah just really loving this one uh, I've used it for traveling I use it for every day and like I said it fits all the essentials plus a little bit more I think a lot of people if they were to pick a smaller casual handbag they might go with a speedy 25 or they might go with a hmm, I don't know some sort of crossbody but I personally like this one a lot so this would be my pick a lot of you know that I have the Louis Vuitton twice and would probably think that I would pick that one over the mini palm springs um, it has since changed I still love it it's just that for me I feel like the mini palm string is just a little bit more extra it's, it's just a little bit more interesting than the twice don't get me wrong I still love my twice and it's my go-to when I just don't feel like wearing monogram like I don't want to feel like I'm more f um, just I don't want to look flashy or anything because monogram can be flashy so I do reach for my twice but in terms of how surprisingly often I reach out to a smaller bag it would be that one so uh, yeah in case you're wondering and plus the twice is already discontinued so even if you want to get one you would have to get it in the pre-love market I also want to kind of cheat and say if you're not into Louis Vuitton which a lot of people are not um, I personally would have no problem choosing the jumbo Chanel flap in the single flap so again you have to get it pre-loved this can be kind of in the middle for me like I can still get away with this bag uh, for just bringing slightly more but maybe not like you know my whole kitchen sink in it but it, I can still kind of like take quite a bit more with me and or as little as I want to in this bag I feel like the jumbo in the classic single flap especially because I do think that the double flap is way too heavy personally for me and I know a lot of you do feel that way too so as an other option if you do not want to buy Louis Vuitton Chanel jumbo flap is the way to go for me I'm just throwing it out there because if I had known that um, Chanel is going to become a brand that I will be so drawn to and love so much after building a collection for a while and having my collection shift uh, if I had known that I would have probably tried to get a Chanel to begin with I do tend to prefer just going for the bag um, first if I were to buy any luxury item, my very first luxury item, I just I just like to buy the bag first instead of just buying the SLGs. I know a lot of people love to do that, which is fine. But personally, I love getting bags first just because I feel like that's the thing that you would wear on you. So the next thing I wanted to feature is a small leather good. And personally, I chose the six key holder. And the reason is because, like I said, if I'm gonna start a collection, I wanna choose pieces that I will wear on a daily basis. And for me, the only SLG that I really, really use on a daily basis is my keys. I also use my wallet, but my wallet situation has been shifting quite a bit. I used to carry a larger wallet. Now I just, for a while, I carry just like a card holder. Basically, I've been kind of juggling with these two. For a while, I was just using a card holder. And then ever since I discovered this, this is the Longchamp. It's called the Longchamp coin purse. And I just use it for cards and money and everything. So this has basically become my wallet and I absolutely love it. I don't really reach for one particular wallet constantly. However, my keys has always stayed in this key holder since day one. And you don't have to go with this brand. You can go with any brand that makes key holders. So the next thing I would probably look into is an accessory, something that I can dress on myself. So that if I don't have my bag around and I don't have my SLGs around, I have something else on my body. And I feel like the easiest way to get into luxury actually, and that's not so pricey, so outside of SLGs basically, the next thing that I find that is not so pricey but that still makes you feel so good is a... Um, luxury accessories. So it could be a scarf, it could be earrings, it could be belts, 
it could be a piece of jewelry i would either choose a pair of earrings or a belt or both at the same time just because i feel like i reach for them so often with earrings i just try to i just try to remember to put them on every day like i rotate them depending on my outfit and what i feel like i always reach for something either designer earrings or my own earrings so i always feel like earrings is a good one for me now i know that a lot of people feel like costume jewelry is not worth it um i totally understand that and i totally think that too at the beginning i i think before i started buying these designer costume jewelry i was buying like the real white gold and just like the real gold jewelry and stuff and such and the real gemstones and such but they're a lot more pricier and yes they're beautiful and i still wear them but for some reason these costume jewelries they're more of a statement jewelry at the same time like they can be a lot more creative and just have a lot more different varieties that allows you to experiment with your looks so even though they are just costume jewelry like they're not genuine pearls or genuine crystals or they're not like real precious metals they're still really prestigious and they're still really they still make you feel so good and look so good and yes you can do that with say high street jewelry and stuff like that but those things i feel like yes you will enjoy them at the beginning but after a while you just want to toss them because you just get bored of them whereas these ones i don't get bored of so yeah in terms of earrings i would probably pick a chanel earrings the cc earrings because they're so classic but if i were to pick a belt i would go in between the ames belt or the gucci belt um this one i've had for a while so this one is reversible i have the orange and the black with silver hardware and this is more recent this is my recent gucci belt and i have a whole uh review and comparison video of these belts of all my designer belts actually so i would go for something like this just because i do wear my jeans very often and i imagine you just can't go wrong they're always going to be iconic and super good quality very comfortable but gucci has been just so good and for some reason this logo just goes with everything like literally everything so i highly recommend for the last category or item i would just pick something more dressy uh, and the reasoning is because i already have my very casual bag larger and smaller ones that i can reach for all the time i already have some jewelry or some accessories that i can wear on a daily basis or on a very regular basis and i have my small leather goods that i love carrying every day so the only other thing that I can think of that you might miss in, you know, in a luxury collection, like a beginning luxury collection, is something slightly more formal, slightly more dressy, um, but that's still versatile enough to take with you even if you want to dress it down. So my pick would be a mini bag, but a nicer mini bag. So I love the Chanel mini or more recently i got i just got this uh gucci velvet mini and the reason why i suggest uh, this mini bag for example is because this is always going to be a classic it's just an amazing little bag that can just pack a punch for most people it will fit more than enough for me because i do carry my blogging camera on a daily basis or on a very regular basis it's a little tight, but I can work around it. I can work with it. So I do still recommend this one. I also recently discovered the Gucci, which I love. This is just velvet and this is their mini size. There is quite a big difference in terms of sizing. This one actually fits a lot, even though they look very similar in sizing, but this one is so structured and very stiff and thick that you can't really quite fit as much. Whereas this one is so flexible and I mean, the size is just amazing. It just fits so much for a mini bag. So I do love this one a lot. I also like the velvet in particular just because I feel like it's so special and it's so different. Uh, even though a lot of people are very afraid of just a fabric bag or a velvet bag that it might get ruined and not as long lasting as leather. Yes and no, because I feel like this velvet has been wearing so well and 
I didn't really need to baby it. If I were to restart my collection or if I were to start my collection, those were the ones that I would pick and I would be so happy. And these pieces will always stay in my collection, I feel. Yeah, I really feel that they would basically essentially be my permanent collection, the ones that I just mentioned. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, thanks for watching and I hope that you subscribe. I do post several times a week and my first video is always on Monday. Hope you guys are having a great day and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.